Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Anos and today we're going to very quickly cover some advanced weapon remodeling and make sure you're getting the most damage possible from your weapon. First I'll cover the basics of remodeling, then we'll take a look at the slightly more advanced version for the later game. So, basic remodeling. You want to go to the blacksmith and click on the remodeling option. This will then allow you to pick from four options. The first is based on your standard weapon scaling. These are the base values of how your weapon scales its damage when combined with your stats. For example, Dual Swords has a B scaling for skill, a C scaling for heart, and a D in strength. Bear in mind, individual weapons may vary from this just slightly. If you're unsure what your weapon scales with, and you're like me and you still can't easily understand the icons which show you, then I made a video a while back which will take you through that. I'll link to that at the end. So. The other remodeling options in the list allow you to prioritize one stat over another when it comes to your damage scaling. With the example before, Dual Swords has a D scaling in strength at base level, which means that until you've unlocked the remodeling option, adding points into your strength stat is a waste of time if you're using Dual Swords, but you can change this using remodeling. It's tricky to explain, so bear with me. I'm just going to show some gameplay footage for a moment so you don't fixate on the details too much right now, just while I talk through it. If you select the option which correlates with your strength stat, you can change the scaling for your weapon so that it scales more heavily from strength instead of skill. What will happen is the strength scaling will increase, but the trade-off is that the other two skills will be downgraded. Now, the level of that scaling depends on what the scaling was originally. In this case, the original scaling for strength was a D, so will only be upgraded to an A-. Had I have chosen skill as the remodeling change, because it was originally a B, that will automatically be upgraded to an A, not an A-. minus. So if you're comparing like with like, if you add either 99 points in skill or 99 points in strength, and you change this weapon to match each using the remodeling system, the skill stat investment would still come out on top from a raw damage perspective. However, even though the choice of strength in this case would be suboptimal, this does open up your options so you feel less restricted in your build, and the difference in damage is relatively marginal. So with this example, if I were to prioritize my strength scaling as an alternative to skill, push all my points into strength, I could bump the damage scaling up using the remodeling system, and I would automatically have a better at equipment weight capacity as a byproduct because of the strength, which would allow me to use heavier armor, for example. Having my weapon scale with strength would, in this case, keep my damage output healthy on my dual swords at the same time as allowing me to boost my defense significantly. Just something to think about. It's important to note that you can only change the scaling for the stats which already scale with your weapon choice. You couldn't take your dual swords and decide to scale them with magic, for example. It will only allow you to alter the existing scaling balance. Long story short, Scroll through the options and look for the most damage you can get based on your current skill point investment, unless you want to start getting into more detail. Job done, or so I thought. I recently found out that you can actually decide to prioritize the scaling of two stats at the same time. When I found this out, I thought jackpot. I went running to the blacksmith like I just caught fire. When I made the change initially, I met my old friend Disappointment and we spent some quality time together. I'll tell you why in a moment. First, let me show you how it's done. To activate the dual scaling, go to the same remodeling menu and press triangle on your first choice. Then go to your second choice and press X. This will then activate both. Now, my good friend Disappointment arrived to tell me that the scaling for both stats is now set to A-, not A. Again, this is based on the original scaling ratings for each weapon, so this may differ depending on what you're using. In my case, and based on where my stats were at the time, the change to A- minus on both skill and heart meant it actually reduced my damage for that weapon, not exactly what I had in mind. This bothered me, so I started tinkering using my dual sword setup to find out if I could make this actually benefit me. My stat distribution for the original test was 99 points in skill and 40 in heart. Long story short, when I had 99 points in skill and 60 points in heart, the damage output for my weapon was higher using the dual scaling effect, and from now on, Every further point I put into my heart stat will continue to boost that weapon's damage further. So the exact numbers aren't hugely important here. Results may differ slightly based on how you've got your stats distributed. The takeaway is that you can scale off two stats and boost your damage even further. 
but you need to be investing heavily in those two stats in order to see any benefit from it. For me, 99 skill and 60 heart was the point where it started to benefit me. If you were splitting your stat placement amongst a number of different areas, you would probably be better at sticking to the single stat scaling or even the base level scaling, depending on how you've distributed your points. I know that was complicated. I'm sorry it took a while. I hope you found it useful. Like and comment if you have, sub if you're new, and I'll wrap it up there. Thank you for joining me, guys. I really appreciate your time. See you for the next one. Stay safe. Bye-bye now.